Here it is, the V4 Auto Trickler. Now I don't normally do uh, unboxing videos, it's not really my thing, but I have to admit, I really wanted to do it on this particular thing. I have no idea what's in here. Um, this is supposedly as close to production as Adam can send right now. And um, so we will see. The only thing that I will tell you uh, is that there are currently no instructions in this model because this is a beta model. Uh, there will obviously be instructions included when uh, production models go out. So let's see what we've got. So this is feels like the platform base. Okay, so uh, this is the acrylic uh, lid that will replace the plastic one that is currently on the auto trickler. And you can see it has these rubber bumpers on it already. So that's good. Uh, we'll play with that in a little bit. And this is strictly gonna be unboxing. I will do a setup video after this uh, and, uh, and then a software and up and running video. So, all right, so there's two separate boxes in here. Well, let's go to the small one. I bet this is the hopper. The hopper. All right, so here is the hopper. And I know that this is going to be similar to the V3 in size, but definitely redesigned. So uh, there is that. Uh, let me grab, give me one second here. Let me take off my mic. Okay, so here is the current V3 hopper. Here is the the V4, so size-wise, looks to be the same. Obviously, this one's flat. He did design that so you can stand it up on a table, uh, which is not something that is always easy to do with this without it being knocked over. Uh, and then it does have a rotating valve on it so that you can take it off. One thing, and I'll show you once I get it set up, but something that's really nice about this is the way he designed this valve is that you cannot remove the hopper from the base, uh, in fact, I might even be able to show you here when I open this up, you won't be able to remove the hopper from the base unless it is closed. So for those that have used a V3 and uh, are used to the rotating valve on the bottom here, you know that if you aren't paying attention and you lift this off the V3, powder goes everywhere, uh, this will prevent that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, inside the hopper, we have what feels like the cup. So we have our uh, same as the V3, that I do know. All right, well, that's everything from that box. And let's see what's in here. All right. Do, 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 you know. All right. Ooh, this is exciting. All right. So this is, here it is, all one piece, no more side trickler, no more, you know, powder drop on top. That is really cool. And we've got our power supply. Uh, one thing that's important to remember about any of these, whether it's the V3, the V4, uh, make sure you use the uh, power cord that he sends with it. It does make a difference. There's one of the front shields. This feels like a rear shield. <laughs> I got another lid and cup piece. Now, where's my old one? Doo -doo, I thought I had it sitting around here somewhere. Yeah, so, so slightly different. This is the V3. You can see um, that it's a little bit different shaped and I know why he did this. And it's because of the platen that it goes on. Uh, well, let me put my mic down for a second. So, sorry about that. So this is the the platen. This is the platen that uh, is inside the auto trickler. Uh, it is designed so that these edges come right up against the platen, so that it has a uh, perfect orientation. 
uh, for the the cup to sit in and it should let's see here I'll know more sorry I'll know more once I get this set up but let's just take a quick look if I have this mounted on the plot here so I think uh, if it comes up against that it's a little bit short uh, but in talking to him he did feel that if you move the the cup assembly in a little bit then you could use an aftermarket cup on it um, this one's just a custom one that was made for me so we'll play with that once we get it all set up uh, but it does have the, the cup orientation here um, this is the uh, db9 setup so this is the db9 uh, plug that is going to go into uh, the back of the a and d and there are two retained screws back here which um, he does include uh, an Allen wrench just in case you don't have one so you can see it here and these retained screws back here you can uh, thread into the back of the A and D if you want to and something else in talking to him uh, oh and then I'll show you when I put these together but these have to go uh, on here and it'll make sense but these are little rubber bumpers to help uh, the lid which I will put on he does give you a brush to clean out the motor assembly if you want and of course his contact card so um, one thing in talking to him you've got this plug that comes off of the assembly and then you've got this plug here that comes off the db9 and it's probably a little easier when i'm over the wood here but uh what you're looking at hang on a second here let me let me do it over the white paper here so it's a little easier so you've got uh, this cord right here that comes off the motor unit and then you've got this db9 connection uh, with its own thing um, he did state that this has a little capture piece on it right here uh, that is designed for electrical connections and if we if we go to connect this um, it's really tight like these four prongs are really tight going in and you don't even have to um, use this little connector so he actually said this little this little pivot piece uh, the reality is you don't even need it so I am probably going to just trim in fact I'm just gonna do it right now uh, because he said it's it's really not necessary so I just trimmed off this little locking tab and so now when I need to remove oh yeah that's plenty tight so now when I need to remove this from the top of the scale it's one less yeah that's plenty tight to work uh, it's one less connector that I have to worry about so that'll be good um, so I thought that was a nice little tip that he passed on uh, what do we have here so this is going to be the bottom your board is in here you've got your stepper motors and then of course don't forget when you're setting this up and I'll just put these in you've got uh, one one window up front let's see and you can't screw them up they're different sizes so that one fits right there so that fits real real nice okay and then where's the other one the other one's just a little narrower and it's gonna fit right here in front okay and this one was upside down so all right so that goes there there's rounded sides and there's like a hard corner the hard corner side goes down obviously the logo you want the bullet facing up on both sides and so this is pretty exciting um, I'm really looking forward to this uh, anyway that's everything that comes in it uh, let me show you if I can figure this out real quick so right here and you can see there's a little bit of felt that's where the powder assembly is going to fit and it sits just like that and you can see there's this little channel right here and that's where the screw goes when you orient it and when it is open so right now you can see the hole is open see the the hopper doesn't come off so I have to close that valve in order to take the hopper off so I think that's a really really smart design um, because that is definitely one of my original concerns was you know trying to figure out how I was going to disassemble the thing without making a mess sometimes 
And that gives me a lot of confidence that I will be able to uh, remove it without having any kind of issue there. So uh, there you go. That is, uh, let's see, this is, oh yeah. So, and he's got these jumper wires. Not usually needed, but just in case, keep it around. Uh, I've never had to use this on any, I've had everything since a V1. Uh, so uh, I've never had to use the jumper with my situation. I honestly don't even know when you would use it, but there's clearly situations that call for it. So, uh, so there you go. That is your first look at a real V4. Uh, this is the real deal. Uh, I am part of the beta test. And like I said, uh, got it a little bit early. That's all I got. This thing still cost me full price. I still paid for it, um, as did all the beta testers. Adam does not uh, discount or give away products. So uh, if somebody says they got one for free or got a discount on it, uh, I can almost guarantee you they're lying about it. Uh, so, you know, the fact that I paid for it, just like with uh, most everything else I get, uh, it just allows me to be really objective about it. So I'm going to get this all fired up. We'll do some more videos here in the next couple days. I'll show off the software that's been changed to accommodate for this. I'll show you how to get this set up on top of your A and D, and then we will do some real world testing with it. So uh, this could not have come at a better time. I've got a couple really big matches coming up. I need to do a lot of loading. This is going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for taking uh, the time to watch this. You guys have a good one. We'll talk later.